What's going on, guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today, we're going to be talking about a teacher who has some obvious agenda that they want to push. Before we continue, don't forget to like and follow if you want to keep watching me. After seeing this video, if you think I'm cool, go ahead, like, subscribe. If not, that's fine too. We're working our way towards the soundboard, so if you want to check out here at the Cash App, it'd be much appreciated. All right, let's keep it moving. Hey folks, Stevie here, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of a preview of my classroom uh, to show you what I've been working on instead of gardening. Uh, so we have this right here. Of course, I'm queer and want my queer students to feel happy and proud and also for my non-queer students to be allies, you know. And yeah, I'm teaching ELD, so it's a smaller number of students. So we have a discussion area here and then we have small groupings of five throughout the room. We have a standing desk in the back. That's actually a desk where I can sit and monitor and call students over to have conversations with them, to conference with them. Um, my wonderful coordinator got me all these beautiful flags. Please ignore the leak that's happening. We've gotten a lot of rain and they're trying to fix it before the kids come next week. We'll see what happens. Uh, this is a little early finisher station that I am starting to build. Uh, this is something I haven't had in previous years and think that it would be really helpful. Now, before we continue, I do, do you notice what I notice? Let's take a step back. Let's take a step back. What is this? They, them, and if you continue on, you can see pride flag. This is the trans flag here in the back. They, them, and this is the, uh, I think this is the asexual colors, asexual, demisexual stuff right there. All that on your name tag. And what's in the very back? What is in the very back? That's the new pride flag. Okay. And I think this person does a close up. So I want you to explain to you. Here's the pride flag. All right. This, this black brown is for BLM, for black and brown people. This white, um, white, pink, blue is for trans. This is the normal pride flag. Oh, yeah. This is called the progress flag. I keep forgetting that. And this yellow circle, I mean, this yellow triangle with a purple circle, this represents intersex. Let's see what this person says. You with different supports. This thing says pronoun. and resources then i went ahead i ordered the like progress now, flag um the most updated one because i used to have just a regular rainbow flag um and then of course these are different actual standards for eld and for those of you who do not know eld is english language development so basically working with english language learners to become stronger in their you already know what i'm gonna say why can't we just leave the kids alone? There's no reason to have a progress flag in there. There's no need to be wearing a tag that says they, them. Because th I'm saying this, man. If a kid walked in right now, and that was, if you had St. Mary on there, St. Joseph, right? St. Saint, Saint Luke, right? St. Paul on your little necklace there. And um, on your little board there, you had a picture of Jesus. You had a picture of the Sacred Heart. Um, you had a, uh, a picture of a Bible verse and then you went over there and showed a flag and that, it wouldn't be a flag if you just showed a picture it's just Jesus Christ's face on the cross right there hanging blood dripping would they allow that in the classroom because that'd be an agenda right that'd be pushing something and I am all for it obviously I'm for the Catholic faith however if we're going to separate that out of the classroom and you don't want kids having to fight about religion, then they should not have to be fighting about progress flags. They should not walk into your classroom and know exactly what you're trying to tell them by putting they, them, by putting a progress flag in there, by putting the, uh, putting in the, a pride heart and putting a trans heart in there. Why? That automatically divides your classroom to whatever they decide to be. And then they're going to know that you stand on one side. They know exactly what you believe, right? I had plenty of teachers right some of them christian some of them atheists but very rarely did i ever feel like as a catholic myself that i was fighting in that classroom against the teacher against an agenda they were trying to push 
I don't remember teachers telling me, hey, this is what I believe in. You should, too. They never even mentioned, like, man and woman being married. They just stuck out of all of that. They stuck to what they were teaching, whether that be history, economics, science, math. They kept all of that out because they don't want us kids to be have to become activists. But when you do this kind of and I get your intention is to be nice. You're trying to be inclusive. You're trying to show this. But the classroom is not the place to do it. Listen to me, young teacher. This is not the place to push what you believe in. If you want to believe in the progress flag, you want to believe in all that kind of stuff. That's OK. You have a right to do that here in America. But you do not need to push that onto the kids. They don't need to know where you stand with all that. They need to know that you're there to teach them. The parents need to know that because you can have parents that have a different belief. And you don't want to have to be fighting constantly with the teacher and the parent and the kid. You're confusing the kid by teaching them this kind of agenda. And then they have to go home and say, hey, mom, what's they them? What's intersex? What's 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 it mean to be transsexual? I don't want to have to explain all that to my kid unless. Unless somehow it came up in conversation between them and peers and I can't prevent that. But to say that it was coming from my classroom teacher when I do not when I put them in school to be learning about other stuff, because a lot of parents have to work. And the last thing they need is for their kids to be getting indoctrinated. There's no way you can say that if that was the same thing. In other words, if they had a picture of Allah up there and they had the Tehran sitting there and y'all read that every morning in class, you'd have a problem. But because it's supposed to be progress, it's not progress. It's regression. You're going right back to where we're teaching kids in the classroom to be what we tell them to be. And a kid shouldn't have that kind of stress on them. I'm just saying, I get what you're trying to do. I get you're trying to say it is in my beliefs. I just want to be open with my children. But this is not the time nor the place to be open with kids. Let them breathe. Let them live. They don't need to be living this life. They need to be going on. They need to be learning about school. Please don't just listen to me. Don't make these kids into activists when they're just trying to learn. Keep it at home. If you want to do that in your own private place, wherever that is, like some group or office or something, at a meeting in the city, that's fine. But in the classroom where the kids have no choice but to come. Remember that. These kids are going have no choice but to come to your classroom. They have to go to the classroom. You're probably one of the few teachers they have. Don't make it to where they, they feel stressed out going in there and talking to you because they feel like they can't talk to you or they feel like if they say the wrong thing, they wear the wrong colors or something like that, that you're going to be on top of them because of their belief system. Don't even make it seem that way because not every kid's going to come to you. They're just going to watch their grades drop and not say a word because they're children. You're an adult. Leave it out of the classroom. Care for the kids. Just something to think about.